Um, one thing that I really like about the film workshop is that they, uh, they teach you how to take criticisms instead of like insults. You take them as something that can help you out in your work and how to really make it, I guess, shine. Um, we sit in a circle usually and we talk about like what, what could be better, what could be changed, um, like how it can really get the message across. But at school, I mean, I do take a film class, but um, there really isn't genuine feedback. I don't really get what everyone's thinking. It feels like they're like, oh, that's cool, but I don't really get anything back for them. And, they don't really help me change it. Uh, so I'm an exchange student. I'm here only for one year. I come from Belgium. I was planning on going next year in the film school, uh, but I didn't really know anything about filmmaking. And I was just expecting a film class where you just look at films and the teacher tells you that's a good film. And here I learned how to think about film, how to look at film in, in their content, in their, the, the way they are made in the composition, in everything each single aspect of the film, which brought a lot to me. Over the past few years, I have taken some film courses. I took a film production class at my school for freshman and sophomore year, and NYU's summer program for high schoolers, and then the film workshop this year. And I would have to say that the film workshop is definitely the most ambitious uh, of all those programs, and has the widest scope uh, my video production class at school focuses on special effects mainly and digital software. Uh, the NYU program focused on storytelling uh, and the film workshop focuses on a lot of that stuff but includes uh, framing, color, composition, acting, especially acting, uh, and also the study of serious film. This year was really exciting because I got to take on two films, um, The Forest and Barfly. The Forest, we went up to Gurneyville and it was the first film that it was my story, I wrote it. The way it came out was how I envisioned it, and um, I had a lot of control over it. In Barfly, it was the first time I worked with adult actors, which um, I learned a lot working with them. I was unorganized <laughs> during the first shoot. It's one of the things I learned from filming that it's impossible to make a film if you're not prepared and if you don't have a clear view of what you want. I've been in the program since I was 13 years old, which seems like a long, long time ago. Lately, um, I've been working and trying to finish my feature film, Silent Anna. It's been really interesting to, to stay with this film for so long. You know, you have one concept of how it's going to go when you begin, and then as you keep moving along and you keep working, it's amazing to see how it develops and uh, to look back on how much you've learned. But my feature film isn't the only thing that I've been working on this year. This year I've concentrated a lot on working with actors and particularly trying to deal with uh, very difficult emotions or very difficult scenes. Motivating characters, dealing with the actors' strengths and weaknesses to try and figure out what's the best way to uh, get them to give a performance that's going to work for the film. This experience of working with actors has been new terrain for me, and I've never dived into it in this kind of in-depth way. Even though my time with the film workshop is coming to an end, I'm still continuing to make films. I'm still um, you know, working very hard. I already have, you know, three different films I'm going to make this summer, and uh, it's with the film workshop and because of this special education that I've had that um, I really have this uh, motivation and this ability now to be able to do this and work on my own. The one thing that made that left the uh, biggest impact on me um, in the film workshop is uh, realizing that I can make an animated film. Um, it was after going to a exhibit at the SF MoMA with the film workshop. It was a William Kentridge exhibit. He is most known for his animated films. And um, as a result, I was inspired to make my own. It uh, went to all kinds of 
different uh, festivals and won all kinds of different awards and now I'm inspired to become an animator. Mm -hmm.